Hi and welcome to some of my vintage i5 videos. I will be making some other videos from other reviews shortly. A bit of soldering that's definitely on the back burner. We're going to sort that out very soon. In fact it may be on this. Um, first of all we're going to uh, change the bulbs in this. Um, I've got this recently. This is how I received it. And in fact it was a little bit worse than that. A couple more pictures there that I've, I've deleted since. And I'm mending that bottom bulb or trying to mend it. I may need to replace it. I'll come to that later on when I do some more videos about it but it was supposed to be in mint condition just one of those things but I um, did get some money off and uh, I think he sent it back but as the plate on the front was absolutely mint condition I thought I'm going to try and get it and um, sort other bits and pieces that you can't see out and uh, try and mend it or put them right anyway I've got it reduced first thing I need to do is replace the bulb so this may come in handy for anyone replacing any bulbs in this particular unit or uh, you know it's a bit tricky a bit trickier than the normal Marantz units this one is and uh, I've done it a bit of a shortcut but it's worked anyway I just thought I'd go through it with you just in case like say anyone's got this um, also what I wanted to say if you're doing any repairs I'm a bit cramped here really to be honest with you I need, you know if you're doing any repairs or anything like that or trying it out for the first time or whatever the main thing really should have some space you need plenty of space to move about and get different angles and move things about and not to be cluttered up and this is not really ideal to be honest with you but it's what I've got and what I'm going to work with and also take your time don't rush a lot of patience you know give yourself an afternoon or whatever to do it you know the missus has gone out the kids are gone out you've got to get distracted uh, and get yourself wound up so space and uh, patience really but anyway let's get on to this like I say um, not in great condition I received it but I wanted to replace all the bulbs in here unfortunately I didn't have the ones I wanted to replace because this is actually um, a Marantz blue it's called um, the bulbs that come with this it's like a, a, a normal incandescent bulb but tinted a blue colour it's got like a tinted blue uh, to the outing of it uh, I thought I did have some and also I thought I had some uh, blue LEDs which I didn't I just in the end just had a, a normal candescent uh, kind of like an orangey kind of white colour bulb you may not be able to see them it is, it is okay it's just got a couple of lights shining on it and obviously not showing um, the full brightness of it but it is okay it just seems a bit dim I think when you look at the camera but anyway, here it is on the bench, and here this is how I started. Now first of all, we need to take the tuning knob off here. So we need a very small Allen key that goes in the tuning knob here. And you just want to undo that slowly, uh, take your time, and you find it start moving. And you think, well, it's going to come off, and it doesn't quite come off, because it's kind of got a ridge and notch in the actual spindle. So you just got to keep undoing it a little bit more. Just be careful, take your time, to, and just ease it off slightly. So there it is with it off, and all the other knobs are off as well now. I've just pulled them off, they just pull off nice and easily. Uh, so yeah, now we need to, t I turned it over and we need to undo these three screws here holding the front plate on. So we undo them, then turn it back to uh, as it no normally sit and uh, undo the two top screws here. And the front will just come off like this. And as you can see, the left, uh, as you can see, like this, the left hand side uh, housing now, this particular uh, left hand side housing, one of the bulbs, the uh, front cover, it needs to come off. So we undo this screw here and it just... You put it up a little bit and it just unclips off basically and we'll do the same with the left hand side oh, sorry the right hand side we'll do the same with the right hand side of the unit and take that housing off there with that 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 one screw under the housing so that had come undone so here we can see the two bulbs that they're replacing but like i say we've still got two more that need to uh, be replaced as well so we'll leave them for the time being uh, and we'll go inside now uh, one inside um it's easy to undo these two wires here. It'll give you a little bit more space later on. So we need to unsolder these two wires here. So just un unsolder. You can unclip them or unsolder whichever way you feel is easier. Uh, them two wires are off as shown there. Now they're undone as shown there. They're best looking down. So this is on the uh, this is on the right hand. Sorry, as you look at it, it's on the left hand side as you look at it. Uh, face, you know, looking at it face to face. It's on the left hand side. But anyway, that's the two wires undone. You, you, you know where it is anyway. Um, now we need to undo this screw here and this this will take that uh, plate completely that little like housing for the bulb completely out the like, little bracket the bulb sits in that take it completely out like i say this will help uh, later on uh, so that's it out now uh, now we've got can see this plate here at the top we need to uh, get this out now you may have a bit of sellotape on it you may not um, mine didn't but so i'm guessing some may uh, so we need to push this plate forward as shown so it's the plate shown in yellow arrows here and we need to push it in the direction shown by the red arrows and that just once you push it forward you'll, you'll feel it or you may just need to 
slightly tilt it upwards as well. Yeah, pop up anyway, as shown there. That's it, popped up. Now, if we go back inside the receiver, the back of this, like, um, what would you call it, like hours in aluminium hours, and you'll see a capacitor maybe stuck to the back of it. Uh, it was on mine, so we need just to gently pull that capacitor off. It's only a little bit of glue, just gently pull it off and push it away as shown there. So that's the capacitor pulled away from that uh, plate that we're trying to just move. Um, so we need to undo this tape here. There's two or three bits of tape across here. It may not be none on your, but it was on mine. So just, just cut that with a sharp knife or a sharp screwdriver or something. Just cut that tape away. Don't worry, it won't all fall apart. Uh, you know, it's just putting it away. Um, so that's, that, that's undone there. Um, right, where are we? Uh, now we need to unclip the um, aluminium shielding, whatever you want to call it, ours in or clamp. Uh, it's these two white bits at the bottom there. Just uh, this is what's holding it in there. It's still rattling about a little bit, but these two white clips that needs to be pushed in and kind of pulled up. You, you, you'll do it. You'll suss out where it, where it needs to go. So um, yeah, just push it in and uh, put it in the uh, direction of the red arrows here, and it would unclip uh, completely there. So um, yeah, so now it's. Uh, it's going to feel a bit loose in there, the actual that little hours in that little kind of like aluminium shield. It's going to feel loose in there now. Uh, so that what we need to do is just move it gently, just wiggle it about gently to the um, to, to get to this first bulb we're going to replace, which is on the uh, signal strength meter on the left hand side as we look at it. Um, yeah, just move it, just gently move that, like I say, that silver kind of uh, aluminium hours in, just gently move it and you will get to the bulb uh, like this. You'll be in a position kind of like this kind of position uh, with a bit of gentle wiggling and you'll be able to replace that bulb okay so yeah it's not easy you have to get your fingers in there maybe and if you've got big fingers maybe a bit tricky but you will be able to pop it out of a screwdriver or something and uh, and uh, get get a new bulb in there right if you look to the up if you look go back to the top we look at the top here now to, if we could do the same with the other side bulb the actual uh, tuning bulb that'd be great but we can't it's this little this little nodge at the top is stopping us um, do, moving the aluminium outwards a bit so well, what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures here. We're going to we're going to get to it here. We're going to get move this um, the hours into the bulb, the, the shield in the bulb, the little aluminium shield. We're going to move it away from the receiver, from the front panel a bit. It's it's only kind of uh, I think mine had a very tiny bit of glue. It felt like it just had a tiny bit of glue there. But what you're going to do, you're going to hold it there. You're going to put your thumb or finger where the yellow arrow is showing now, and you're going to put it away from the chassis. In the direction of the red arrow is going so you just put it in that little bit around you're going to kind of bend it and put it at the same time it's going to kind of swing out like a door so to speak uh, on an inch but the inch is going to be really stiff because um you know it's not meant to do that so to speak so yeah you're just going to put it away and you should be in a position like there this kind of position now uh where it's um it's out you just get to it it's um yeah just get to the bulb there you can see now i've replaced the bulb there with my one and you just need to push it back in place to do the opposite just bend it back you may put a very slight kink in aluminium but nothing hardly at all um, and yeah you just push it back and you're, you're pretty much back in the same place as where you took it out from that's this is just going to save taking out if you come back to me here just going to take say taking out these vu these meters here the signal strength and the tuning meter they are in there i did try and take them out actually uh, I just couldn't. I don't know what was holding them in there. I don't know if they've got a bit of glue on them or something. But I didn't want to pull too much, and I thought this is going to be easier just to get to that back plate and, and prise it off, just pull it out rather than taking these meters out, unsoldering it all. It would have took too long, and it's just achieved exactly the same result, really. So um, just a little bit tricky, that's all, but it's got it in there. So, yeah, so as you put this back together now, I'm just going to bring this picture up here. Just be careful because your hand's been in there and your thumbs and whatever. That this tuning wire, the white tuning wire, um, it don't rub against this meter at the top here, these two connections here, the meter where the solder is, it's, it runs very close to them anyway. So just make sure you ain't bent anything there and it's running close, just move the tuning dial, the, you know, the, the gang, just move it to make sure that um, it's not rubbing because you don't want that rubbing inside because over a period of time, it'll just ping, it, you know, it'll just whittle away. So um, yeah, just make sure that's clear and then push that capacitor back to where it was or somewhere else in there you feel, you know, is in a safe position, which I, I did with mine. I didn't put it exactly in exact position, I just put it somewhere near and it was in a safe position, not going to be rubbing against anything or anything. So that's it really. You change them bulbs out there. So you're going to come back to the front and the, the two at the front, you're going to change them to there, this one here and this one here, beyond this thing, you're going to change them. And you're going to really put it all back together now. You're going to do in reverse to what you just did. 
Um, what I would do is put a bit of black tape on the top here, which is shown in this picture here, I think. It's just I put a bit of black tape just on the top where that, the tape I done was. You don't need to really, because, you know, it's up to you. I, I did. It, 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 once you push it all back, it's, it's held in position anyway. But yeah, you know, as I put a little bit of black tape, it ain't going to work. Uh, just make sure you sold them wires back at the back here where you took this one out, this, this unit out. Make sure you sold them two wires. Don't forget to resold them once you put that little uh, older back in there. Uh, otherwise, two wires will be dangling about and could short out against the case or whatever. Um, yeah, and while you had the front off, before you actually did put this front back on, uh, these buttons here, you could have probably give them a little clean as well. I'll show you a picture there. While you had the front stood off, you can give these uh, silver buttons a clean. And also these shafts here. At the front here, you can give them a clean uh, while you had the front off. That's a good opportunity to do that. Obviously, now you've got the front completely off, like I have now. You can get your knobs and give them a clean before you stick them all back on there and you're, and you're back to where, how you started. So, that's it, really. So, there, like I said, that's been a bit of an help to uh, maybe some people who's got this unit thinking, you know, thinking of changing the bulbs, um, bolt it in the bulbs, you know, no, no bulbs or got them out or whatever. I mean, if you are buying one of these, it is good someone's changed the bulbs. If you buy one with the bulbs changed, if it's LED, you know, they're going to last quite a long time. If they've replaced it with incandescence, which I've been doing on a few of mine, still going to get 10,000 hours, something like that out of it. So it's still going to have a, a fair amount of time anyway. So that's it really. I thank you for watching this particular uh, uh, video of mine and I'll be back shortly with something else. And uh, until then, I'll see you all soon.